Topic starts the competition. What a way to steady your nerves. Angelina Topic. Looks a bit tense in that lineup. It doesn't look like she's struggling out there on the runway. First time clear, it's 1 meter 84 for the 16 year old. Brad Seville next on the runway. Uzbekistan athlete sixth at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Only 1 meter 83 this season, but she's got a best of 1 meter 97 outdoors. Shaky start, the Uzbekistan athlete. You really have to be in control of your nerves and your adrenaline when you do such a technical event. It's the same in the pole vault. Lord Tagada, I can say she's one of the few athletes that was gifted some track. So you can see the branding around Mondo is the track company that lays a lot of the tracks in the world. They're an Italian company and during lockdown they gifted equipment to a lot of their Italian athletes so that they could train at home. Zalo Tagada was one of the athletes to benefit from that. Tagada, nice first time clearance at one meter and 84. So you might think, why would you get feedback on a successful clearance? There's always something you can improve on and that bar is gonna come up quickly. Emily Borthwick here, second attempt. There we go, that looks good there for Emily Borthwick. Just easing her way into the first round of this women's high jump. That was her second attempt at one meter and 84. Plenty of air underneath the British athlete there. She can look onto these higher heights. Well, Jenny Meadows is down on the infield. And Jenny, it's been an emotional time for Emily Borthwick. She's hitting top form, but in so doing, she's bouncing back from a family tragedy. Just, just clarify exactly what she would have been through, perhaps, in, in losing her brother in such tragic circumstances. to try and help her get through this and she's actually succeeding you know every time she jumps she remembers you know what I'm here to have fun before that you could see she put a lot of pressure on herself and actually I think it's something that we can all learn for the sport is great it's, it's helping her through this moment I know her, it's helping her parents through this moment as well and I think she's improved something like nine centimeters Rob you know over the last 12 months she's one of the world's finest high jumpers now and it's great to see that the sport has been helping her get through this sad times. Thank you, Jenny, capturing that all so well. For Emily Borthwick to say, yeah, the worst has happened. I, I've had to deal with that. No I've come through that. I can handle a World Indoor Championships. I can handle anything this thought, sport will throw at me after losing her brother so tragically. Here is our first look at the Ukrainian Mahuchik, 188, making that look very simple. That was a first time clearance there for Mahuchik. This is her opening height in the competition. The timing and her positioning over that bar, really good. <laughs> Joint first there, we saw Dimoreva. Bulgaria with a first time clearance. Valo Tegara of Italy with a first time clearance. Maria Vukovic, she's having a great season. Montenegrin. 
three athletes in this field on that one meter 96 this season. Bukovic is one of those, and you can see why making light work of one meter and 88. Mahuchik, Vukovic, and Dubovitskaya of Kazakhstan. They're the three athletes that have cleared one meter and 96 this indoor season. Zuzkovic took her two attempts at 1m84. She's found her rhythm. So, Uzbekistan's Salad Lavia. First attempt at 1m88. So Jolayeva looking a little bit tense. Good first time clearance at one meter and eighty-four. Nothing to worry about there. First time clearance at one meter and eighty-eight maintains her clear scorecard. Irina Garashenko of the Ukraine will be next to jump. She had a first time clearance at one meter and 84. A long run up for the Ukrainian athlete. Got the sh. We will just leave this women's high jump competition. You can see the Ukrainian athlete there by the shot put mats. Take a moment to catch up with the women's high jump is Angelina Topic. Listen to that Serbian crowd roaring on the 16-year-old. Second attempt at one meter and 88, and she gets it. Listen to that roar. She must be full of nerves. Such anticipation on the 16-year-old's shoulders. Her mum was a triple jump bronze medalist at the 2009 World Championships. Her dad was a high jump world indoor bronze medalist in the 90s. So Angelina Topic comes from a family that knows all about picking up medals at world level. Maybe not at 16. Emily Borthwick, all smiles. This is her second attempt at one meter and 88. So out there nearly, nearly in lane one of the back straight. These indoor arenas are so tight. It gets even tighter when you throw all these events in together. Second attempt, one meter 88, not to be for Emily Borthwick. Straight away, she said to herself, all right then, let's have a look. You can see perhaps not just getting the height she needs to get over that one meter and 88. Such a technical event. She walks to the side. She's been helped there by Laura Turner, Alil, Holly Mills, coach. They've got an iPad. They're figuring out what can you do to give yourself a better attempt at your third and final attempt at one meter 88. This lady, Svetlana Radzivil of Uzbekistan, she's on her third and final attempt at 1 meter 88. Could the athlete from Uzbekistan be our first casualty in this women's high jump final? Oh, Radzivil's sixth place at the Tokyo Olympics. But she is the first to exit this World Indoor Championships. It's the women's high jump final, straight final in this event. 12 athletes contending. But Svetlana Radzivil will take no further part. See the frustration there. She is a great championship performer, but just not to be here today in Belgrade. Another athlete on a third and final attempt here, Rachel McCoy. Took her three attempts to get over her 1m84. Here she is, third and final attempt at 1m88. This would be a season's best for the American athlete. She can manage it. And knocks it off with her hand on the way up. Rachel McCoy, our second casualty in this women's high jump final. Let's go, Emily! 
to stay with this women's high jump. We will see Emily Borthwick. She's also on a third and final attempt with one meter and 88. But Rachel McCoy there just contemplating life. Pretty frustrated. Right, Emily Borthwick, third and final attempt at one meter and 88. Emily Borthwick of Great Britain will take no further part in the World Indoor Championships. Got quite a late invitation into this championships. And it was a qualifying mark that was really quite tough and then they go down the season's lists and invite other athletes and that included Emily Borthwick. But fantastic season for the British athlete. A slightly earlier exit than I'm sure she would have hoped for in this women's high jump final. Looks a little bit emotional and you can understand why. A brilliant season, as you said, and, you know, was not completely out with the bounds of possibility that she could have been in the shake-up for the medals. That's the tough thing about these technical events. It, Emily has jumped 1m95 this season. And when you look at, you know, where the medals are going to go in this championships, it wouldn't be surprising that one would go to someone jumping 1m95, so it's very frustrating when you know that you're physically capable of something. But as I said in some of the horizontal jumps we had yesterday, every arena is different. Every track surface is different. You have to learn on your feet. You have to come here and feel how your body and your stride responds to each arena. It's not as simple as just replicating something you've done in training. Uh, just a reminder of what's still to come. Heats of the women's 800, the men's 1500, and we will keep a close eye on what's happening with the penultimate event of the men's heptathlon. They're in the midst of a marathon session of pole vault on the other side of the infield. And in fact, the women are out on the track for the start of the 800, so it won't be long before we return our attention to the four-lap indoor race. But what a reception Topic will now receive from the home crowd. Back to Angelina Topic. 16-year-old's first attempt at 1m92. This would be an outright personal best for the Serbian athlete. Oh, that wasn't too bad. See that frustration on her face. See the replay there. Her run-up is so far, I was looking across the track and couldn't see her. She's miles up towards the start of the 60. Well, every athlete is different. I'm told the typical run-up is eight to ten strides. Angelina Topic maybe using more of that track to get into her speed, you know, build her speed up and then execute those eight, ten crucial strides. Valor Tagara of Italy. So these high jump athletes, they run straight and then their final four or five strides, they have to make a curve. That's what propels them over the bar. They have to convert that horizontal speed and force and momentum into vertical height. The forces they put through their ankles and their knees is astronomical. Elena Valor Tagara, clean scorecard so far. Can she continue that on one meter and 92? Yes, she, oh, commentator's curse. I thought she was all that. And the naked eye over on the other side of the stadium. I thought Velotigara had cleared that. You can see ever so slightly rattling that bar with her legs. So now what these athletes will do, they'll talk to their coach and they'll adjust that run up. They might move back, they might come forward to give them a better chance of hitting their high point right over that bar. Valor Tagala, such an experienced athlete. She will go make some adjustments and have a second attempt at 1m92. Stay with this one's high jump for another few attempts. This is Mirella Dimareva, second place at the Rio Olympics. Silver medal at the last edition of this championships in Birmingham. Again, agonizingly close to that one meter and 92. Dimareva, she's had a lot of attempts in many of her competitions. She's so experienced, she knows how to tinker with that run up, to tinker with her approach. And she's going to have to go away and do that again. 
Bulgaria wants to see higher heights in this women's high jump. You wonder how much these early clean scorecards might favour these athletes. The Lortigara and Demareva having to wave goodbye to their perfect scorecard. Mahuchik is on a perfect scorecard. She passed at 1m94, first time clearance at 1m88. 1m92 now for the young Ukrainian. And this 1m92 is causing our athletes some issues. Yaroslava Mahuchik will have to settle for a second attempt. See those cones there on the track ready for the women's 800. Mahuchik will have to attempt this one meter and 92 again. It will leave this women's high jump. Here is our world lead for the 2022 indoor season, Eleanor Patterson. First attempt at one meter and 92, and she maintains, I spoke too soon with one of the other ladies, but I am right this time. Eleanor Patterson maintains her clear scorecard. The Australian really in the driving seat at the moment in this season. Velour Tagada, this is her second attempt at 1 meter and 92. An Italian athlete just rehearsing her approach into this high jump. Velour Tagada, first time clearance 1 meter 84, first time 1 meter 88. This is her second attempt at 1 meter and 92. And the Italian athlete coming there. Getting a high point a little bit in front of the bar, maybe. We'll have a look at that replay. For me, she has pretty much enough height. Maybe she needs to find a little bit more. But suddenly, this is the agony of women's high jump. Three attempts can go ever so quickly. Especially when other athletes are clearing. And suddenly, you've got to jump back to back very quickly. Qualifying marks. We'll catch you up to date with the women's high jump. Mahuchik making that look pretty easy there. That was her second time at clearance at 1 meter and 92. So business back to usual for the Ukrainian international medalist. Vukovic of Montenegro. She's got a real opportunity here to pick up a world senior medal. And that is doing our hopes no harm at all. And that was her third attempt at 1 meter and 92. So much pressure there on the athlete from Montenegro. Apologies, I think that was only a second attempt for the athlete from Montenegro. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Second attempt at 1 meter and 92. It is a third and final attempt, though, for Angelina Topic of Serbia. Hear the crowd roaring her on. <sighs> Not to be for the young 16-year-old. That would have been an outright personal best for her. So she's done really well to be involved in this competition up until this point. I'm sure she would have loved to have snuck herself a PB in front of this home crowd, but I'm sure Angelina Topic of Serbia, that is certainly a name for the future. Just 16 years of age here competing at her home World Indoor Championships in Belgrade, Serbia. Fantastic representation of her skill and talent there. Through to the final, but Mahuchik is in the women's high jump final and the Ukrainian going well. Mahuchik here, that was a first time clearance at one meter and 95. Just that one blip at one meter and 92. Elena Patterson. She had first-time clearances through to 1 meter and 92. So could that first-time failure come back to haunt the Ukrainian Yaroslava Mahuchik? The Ukrainian athlete getting her kit back on. She has the lead at the moment. She's the only athlete over that 1 meter and 95. Montenegro's Vukovic love to join her, and she does. First time clearance for Montenegro's Vukovic, one meter and 95. Not many women this season that have managed over one meter and 95. 
have already lost Emily Borthwick of Great Britain. Leaving just four or five of these women that have done this in this 2022 season. Many of them have higher lifetime bests, and it is relevant looking at their outdoor personal bests when competing indoors. Mahuchik, I think, with the best outright personal best indoors or outdoors. Here we go, Eleanor Patterson. First attempt at 1 meter and 95, and she does it. The Australian maintains her clear scorecard. Such an interesting story for me. Eleanor Patterson just quitting the sport after not qualifying for her home Commonwealth Games in the Gold Coast in 2018. She was going into that as defending champion and just walked away from the sport. So this is all too much. I don't want to do this. But here she is back with the world leading mark this season. She's only the world lead by four centimeters. You can see there, Dubinskaya. That was her first attempt at one meter and 95. Great clearance there for the athlete from Kazakhstan. That's a great angle. You can really see that power and that height these women high jumpers achieve. Look at the Skaya quietly getting on with a clean scorecard. Now Mahuchik, first attempt at 198. This high jump competition really hotting up. As that bar gets up to 1 meter 98. That is a really significant clearance for the Ukrainian Yaroslava Mahuchik. Really, really turned the heat on when it mattered. This is a season's best for the Ukrainian athlete, and she made that look easy. And that's because she knows how to bring her best efforts into the championship arena. Mahuchik there of Ukraine, piling the pressure on her competitors. There's only a few of them left at, the one meter, at this one meter and 98 height. Patterson's gone clear. Dubovic Sky has gone clear at 95. But that makes Mahuchik the first athlete clear at one meter and 98. attempt and a clearance at 198 for the athlete from Kazakhstan, Nazeda Dubovitskaya, Asian record holder, is in unbelievably good form here in Belgrade. A whoop of delight from her with that excellent clearance. Really hotting up now the end of this women's high jump. Dubovinskaya, due to her clean scorecard, look at that, all those O's, that puts her in that gold medal position. Elena Patterson has got to stay on terms with the Kazakhstani athlete, and that will help. Elena Patterson, that will be her second time clearance at 1 meter and 98, so she is going to have to go higher than Dubovinskaya if she wants to take the gold medal back to Australia. Wouldn't it be great to see her at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham in a few months' time? What if she could win at 2014 and then 2022? But I'm getting ahead of myself. She's got to navigate the World Indoor Championships first. Mahuchik of Ukraine. This is a first-time attempt at 1 meter. Oh, no, she had a first-time clearance at 1 meter 98. This is the bar at 2 meters now. Really getting to the business end of this women's high jump final. Mahuchik, she's done this height before. She's been here before, but she couldn't quite manage it today. That first attempt, just not quite getting her hips over the bar. And remember, she had that first time miss at 192, and that could end up costing her the gold medal. Really could, the fine margins here. As you can see, that was a second time failure at two meters. And here's Eleanor Patterson for a lifetime best. Oh, that is a second time clearance at two meters for Eleanor Patterson, a new oceanic record. Look at that, she has had to go higher than she's ever gone before. She is the first woman over that two meter height. That puts her in the gold medal contending, uh, gold medal position, and her contenders have got to try and react. 
the Hoochicks had two failures. Could she manage it on a third attempt? Dubovitskaya has had one failure at two metres. The Australian athlete, Eleanor Patterson, the only woman over this height. That's why you see that outpouring of emotion. That knowledge, you want to celebrate that new area record, that new personal best, but you've got to maintain your composure. What will the other women do in response? Patterson letting herself have a, have a bit of a smile. Dubovinskaya, if she goes clear here on her second attempt at two metres, she will go back into the lead. She's only had one failure in this whole competition. <sighs> Dubovinskaya, second time failure at two metres. At the moment, Eleanor Patterson, the only woman over two metres. Could she turn the dream season into a gold medal? Dubinskaya of Kazakhstan and Mahuchik of Ukraine have something to say about that. So at the moment, Dubinskaya having the nod just ahead of Mahuchik on countback. I'm sure they would love to get over this two meters. And wouldn't it be fantastic to see the bar? Soar up to two meters and two, two meters and four, and a few more women fighting it out for these medals. Mahuchik out there in lane one of the 60 meters, just contemplating what could be. She's picked up so many medals for Ukraine. At the moment, she's in that bronze medal position. She will be taking a medal home. Can Yaroslava Mahuchik convert this bronze into something a little bit better? Third and final attempt at two metres. Oh, what a response! Yaroslava Mahuchik, that is why she is one of the best championship athletes around the Ukrainian under pressure there third time clearance at two meters on countback she's still behind australia's eleanor patterson but that pushes her up into the silver medal position what can nadezda dubovinskaya of kazakhstan do now such a pressure jump for mahuchik what a woman dubovinskaya one hand on the gold medal all of a sudden She's the one under huge, huge pressure. Mahuchik has got nerves of steel for such a youngster. Nerves of steel. That was phenomenal from the Ukrainian. See her coaching staff and her teammates. Pentathlete there, nervously watching on. So, Dubovinskaya. Bronze medal position at the moment. Can she give Elena Patterson and Yaroslava Mahuchik something to worry about? See the uh, final heat of the men's 1500 just patiently waiting. I doubt they quite understand the drama that's going on, but have the respect to know that every athlete deserves their moment. Dubovinskaya, third and final attempt at two metres. She'll be taking a bronze medal at least for Kazakhstan. <laughs> so that will be a bronze medal for Kazakhstan and Nadezda Dubovinskaya of Kazakhstan. And that leaves us with Elena Patterson and Yaroslava Mahuchik. The bar has to go up to two metres and two. Two metres was not enough to give us our victor. What a women's high jump final. We will get back to that as soon as we can. So this is a first attempt at two metres and two centimetres. Wow, Yaroslava Mahuchik. What has she done there? A first time clearance at two meters and two centimeters. It took her three attempts to get over two meters. You can see there, she's saying, we need to calm down, let's calm down, let's calm down. I've done that, that's phenomenal. I had to go to my third and final attempt for two meters. But wow, the Ukrainian means business. Two meters and two centimeters. Three centimetres higher than anyone has jumped this year. 
and that propels her into the gold medal position. Patterson had a failure at 2.02. The bar has gone up to 2.04. Patterson probably thought that the gold was going to her, but Yaroslava Mahucic, just as she surprised everyone with that incredible silver in Doha back in 2019 with that world junior record of 204, has put herself in the driving seat to upgrade world outdoor silver to world indoor gold. What a, what a display of composure. A first time clearance at 202. And this is a first attempt at two meters and four. Not to be at this tactics here, so Eleanor Patterson passing her second attempt at 2.02 forced Mahuchik to have to have that first attempt at 2.04. And I thought maybe it would be in Mahuchik's advantage. She'd had that momentum, she just had that fantastic first time clearance, but she just tapped her head there. She looked at her coach and tapped her head. Maybe she's saying, I, I let myself get in my head. I was thinking about that gold medal. Don't speak Ukrainian but she's going, how did I do 2.02 so easily? And I just threw away a chance at the first time clearance at 2.04. Such is the nature of high jump. If she was to win this gold, it would be an utterly extraordinary, extraordinary performance. Eleanor Patterson, quite rightly passing her second attempt at 202. She's already got a new personal best and an oceanic record with her two metre clearance. She needs two metres and four if she wants to take that gold medal home to Australia. Not on her first attempt. When you've been asked to do something you have never done before, it doesn't matter if it's a four centimetre difference or not. It's a daunting task. And then the Patterson going to check in with her coach, make some adjustments. So often overshadowed, Eleanor Patterson, she had a fantastic summer. Not as good as her compatriot, Nicole McDermott. She took that silver medal at the Olympics. And then the Patterson flying the flag out here for Australia. Slava Mahuchik in the driving seat at the moment. She will take her second attempt at two metres and four centimetres. Right, fifth place for Garashenko of Ukraine there. They couldn't relive their one-two from the European Indoor Championships last season. Some great showing from this pair of high jumpers. This is incredible from Mahuchik. The composure for that third time clearance at two metres and then to go over 202 at the first time of asking. Absolutely unbelievable. That's why so many people are excited about this young woman's talent. Oh, so close. So, so close. She's in fabulous form, Hannah, fabulous. She really is. You've got to say that two metres and four centimetres is possible. You have to think it. I think she's got to think that as well. She's ruining that chance there. I think she knew that was a fantastic attempt. I hope you could hear the crowd in the background here. Everyone was, you can see them in the background raising their arms, cheering. Look at the tribune behind as well. People were raising their arms aloft in celebration. So they thought the Ukrainian athlete had successfully navigated two meters and four. But she will have to go for a third and final attempt. Eleanor Patterson of Australia, second attempt. She put the pressure on Mahuchik with her clearance at two metres. It took her two attempts to get over two metres, where Mahuchik took three. So, she needs this, or it is definitely gold to Yaroslav Mahuchik. Second attempt, but she's had a pass at an earlier height, so that adds up to three fa consecutive failures for Eleanor Patterson. She passed her second attempt at 2.02. She was ambitious, she wanted a chance at this gold medal, but it wasn't to be. 
Two failures at two metres and four centimetres, and that means it is a gold medal for Yaroslava Mahuchik of Ukraine. A valiant effort from Australia's Elena Patterson. What an exciting prospect for the outdoor season. World Championships, Commonwealth Games available to the Australian athlete. I'm sure she'll be walking away with her head held high, with that new area record. The hallmark of a true champion, you can see up on that screen, Ukraine's Yaroslava Mahuchik. She's just going to have a go at 204. Doesn't matter that she's won, she wants to jump anyway. And we know that 204 is a height she is capable of in a global final. There are people in the stand on their feet, willing this young woman to go even higher. Oh, not to be, but it doesn't matter. Silver in Doha, it's gold in Belgrade. At the press conference earlier this week, the president of World Athletics said, we understand the fragilities of the political landscape, but this is a world championship in which sport will win through, and it has. It's gold to Mahuchik of Ukraine. The pressure Yaroslava Mahuchik was under in that competition is phenomenal. We usually see her so much on the indoor circuit. She's only competed once in the 2022 indoor season. May you see it, the confirmed result in our only final this morning, the women's high jump. It was a gold medal for Ukraine and Yaroslava Mahuchik. World lead, two metres and two centimetres. Elena Patton of Australia gave it her best shot, leaving with an oceanic record. And Dubovin Sire of Kazakhstan, leaving with an Asian record, two metres and 98 centimetres, breaking her own national record.